Detroit police officer that's prompted criminal charges of misconduct in office and assault and battery. At the corner of Seven Mile and Van Dyke, police approaching a man just walking to a nearby gas station and quickly insulting him for what he's wearing. You wearing a weird ass coat. From there, it gets worse. You can see former officer Anthony Smith telling a partner to hold his things, hinting a confrontation is about to unfold. Focus. Focus. Smith, with a cigarette in hand, keeps taunting the man he's face to face with, who replies the following. And seconds later, the man who's removed his shirt to prove he has no weapons is suddenly struck. After sucker punching the citizen, former officer Smith and others on scene decide it's time to make an arrest for resisting and obstructing. We've learned Smith has since resigned and will appear in court November 12th for a preliminary exam. Police say other officers were also suspended. This all happened back in December 2018, but attorney Dion Webster Cox has now filed a lawsuit alleging false arrest, false imprisonment, emotional distress, assault and battery, and gross negligence. He was already on probation. My client ended up having to spend two weeks in Wayne County Jail, and then he was violated on his probation and had to spend 90 days in the psych ward for just walking down the street and getting hit by an officer. Webster Cox says her client suffers from mental health issues, now made worse by this altercation. He's not the same person as he was on before, walking up that day, and I doubt if right now it's hard for him to sleep. He still has dreams about it. When he goes up to that gas station in that area, sometimes he might see one of the officers. They tease him about it. In response, an attorney for Smith issued a statement that reads, under Michigan law, an assault occurs when an individual does an act that would cause a reasonable person to fear or apprehend an immediate battery. The facts of this case will paint a much better picture than any statement Mr. Smith or I could make today. We very much look forward to defending this matter in a court of law and will have no further comment at this time.